Number 41. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. And then we have letter B out of the bunch. We have to balance MnO4 2 minus, which is aqueous, and that will yield MnO4 minus aqueous plus MnO2 solid. And we have to do this in a basic solution. Oh boy. So if I look down here, right, for balancing in basic solutions, oh gosh, the first thing we got to do is we got to get the acidic answer. Yeah, the acidic answer is the problem. The acidic one, which I wrote all the steps up here, is the one that has the bulk of the steps. Once you get your acidic answer, all you have to do is just add a couple of things and you get your basic answer. So just make sure that you guys know your acidic solution and all the steps, but we're going to do it together, all right? So the first thing is, for balancing in acidic solutions, we have to take this whole equation and turn it into two half reactions. So pick the elements that go together. But however, I'm seeing a little issue here, right? I'm seeing that I have only one uh, reactant, right? And it has an MN, so like um, elements go with like elements. But on the product side, I have two equa I have two compounds that both have MN, right? What What's going to happen? Well, here's the thing. Nobody said right? That you're only allowed to have only one of these, right? We're balancing. So maybe there's two of them. Maybe there's three of them. I don't know, but I can safely assume that, you know, I can change this coefficient. So I can say, let's just pretend that this is a plus sign. I can say that I have two of them, right? I'm not adding anything different. I'm just saying that I have two of them. That's what balancing is all about. Now I can separate them. And one of them would go with one of the MN compounds, right? So this goes with this. And then the other one would go with the other MN compound. And those are your two half reactions. So that's like a little trick, all right? So we'll have two half reactions here. We'll have one that's MNO4, two minus, and that's aqueous. And that will yield MNO4 minus aqueous. And then we have the same one, because we're just assuming that eh, maybe we'll have two of these. And that will yield MnO2 solid. So that step is done. Now we have to balance all the elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. But I'm looking here, and I don't even see any hydrogen, so I'm not worried. But I need to uh, balance the other elements. There's only one other element here, guys, right? It's the MNs. I have MN on the left side. I have MN on the right side. I got MN over here and MN over there. Okay. I have one MN, right? One manganese. I got one manganese. I got one manganese. <laughs> I got one manganese. So this video is not skipping. <laughs> There's literally only one manganese. So they're balanced already. So I don't have to do anything. So step one is done. Yeah. Now let's balance the oxygen. Oxygen before hydrogen, guys, okay? And if we need to balance the oxygen, we add H2O. So just know that if you need to add one oxygen on any side, you're going to add it in terms of one H2O. So if you need, you know, two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens, three H2Os. Let's see. Let's do the top one first. I see that I have an oxygen here. And I got an oxygen over here. I have four oxygens on the left side. I have four oxygens on the right side. Oh, they're balanced already. That's pretty cool. So I don't have to do anything. Let's do the next one. I have an oxygen here. I have an oxygen here. I have four oxygens on the left side. And I only have two on the right side. So between a four and a two, I need to add oxygens on this side. I need to add two more, right? Two plus two is four. So if I need to add two oxygens, I will add two H2Os. And that part is done. So this is done. We're almost halfway through the acidic solution. Now we balance the hydrogens. We balance the hydrogens by adding H+. And the same type of rule applies. If you need to add one hydrogen, you're going to add it as one H+. So if you need the two hydrogens, You'll add two H pluses, three hydrogens, three H pluses. 
But I look up top here, and I don't have any hydrogen, so I don't have to balance. But on the bottom, since I added the water, I have hydrogen now to balance. I have two hydrogens from the H2O, but there's two of them. So two times two is a total of four. I have no hydrogen on this side, so I have to balance. I need a total of four, so four hydrogen, four H+. Plus. So I'm just going to add plus four H+, plus, and that's all good there. So that's a check. Now we need to balance the charges. We balance the charges by adding electrons. Electrons are E negative. Electrons are negative. And you always add the electrons to the more positive side. So I got to figure out which side out of the half reaction is more positive. So I, I make a split down the middle just to make sure I don't cross paths. And I need to collect the total charge on this side, the total charge on this side, and add electrons to the more positive side. You just look in the upper right hand corner. For MnO4, there's a 2 minus here, and I only have one of these, so I know that the overall charge of this side would be a negative 2. Same thing for this side, I see a negative, that assumes that it's a negative 1. I don't, I only have one of them, right? So my overall charge would be a negative 1. So here are my two overall charges, a negative 2 for the left and a negative 1 for the right. Which side is more positive? Negative one, right? If you think about it on a number line, negative one is more to the right on a number line. So I know that I'm going to add electrons here, but how many? Well, it's the difference between the two. How many numbers do I have to jump to go from a negative one to a negative two? Only one. So I'm going to add one electron. Now we do the same thing for the bottom. Let's work from left to right. I have a plus charge for the, a the hydrogen, right? That's a plus one. But there's four of them, so you have to multiply. Four times a plus one would be an overall plus four coming from this ion. And then the MnO4, it was a two minus, right? Just like before, there was only one of them. So this is a negative two. And you add the two together. Plus four plus a negative two, aka four minus two, is an overall plus four charge. Now I just do the same for this one. But if you see for both of these, I don't see a charge in the upper right hand corner. That means that this, these compounds are neutral. And if they're neutral, they're not positive nor negative, so they have a zero charge. And I don't care how many you have, zero times any number is zero. So this would be an overall zero charge. H2O has an overall charge of zero charge. You add them together, you get a zero. Which side is more positive? Now it's this side, right? And I need to add the electrons on this side because you add the electrons to the more positive side. How many? Well, how many numbers difference? Two, right? On a number line. So I need to add two electrons. And this step is done. Now I'm just going to clean up these charges because that was just for the math. So I can just get rid of everything just to make it not as crazy in here. And then let me just do it for the top. Scoop, scooping in. Okay. And I think that's everything. Yeah. Now we just have to balance the electrons. So I need to make sure that the electrons that I added are the same number. And here's a little trick, guys, or not a trick, but this is like a checkpoint. Just make sure that you added your electrons on opposite sides of the divider. If for some reason you get something where you have the electrons on the same side, go back. Start from the beginning, something went wrong. Or, or try to at least backtrack to see, you know, where your mistake was. Now, how am I going to get these the same? Well, you have to multiply here, right? And you have to multiply so that the number is the lowest number possible. How can we get 1 and 2 to be the same number? Well, I can multiply the top equation by 2, right? 2 times 1 will get me 2. And then I don't have to do anything to the bottom. But now, if you do that, you have to multiply every coefficient. So this number is getting changed, this is getting changed, and this is getting changed. Right? So just take your time. Just make sure that you change all the numbers. So let's go. I had 1 MnO4 here, but 1 times 2 is 2. 
I had one MnO4 here, but one times two now is two. And then I had one electron, but one times two is now two electrons. And now they are balanced. I have two electrons over here. I got two electrons over here. So this step is done. Now I have to cancel the like substances on opposite sides. All we're doing is simplifying. This was the, the idea of getting the electrons to be the same because you don't want your electrons at the end of the day. So goodbye and goodbye. They cancel each other out. Anything else that I can cancel out? I'm just going to get rid of this 2x here. Um, no, I don't see anything, right? I have H plus over here, but I don't have any H pluses over here to cancel. Now, you might be talking about these guys, right? But this is not cancellation because they're not on opposite sides of the divider. They're on the same side of the divider. That means that you add them together. Okay, so we're basically done here. And now all we have to do is we just have to rewrite as one equation. So everything that we canceled goes bye-bye. So this doesn't exist. This is not here anymore. And now I'm just going to pull... I'm just going to pull the top. Actually, what I'm going to do just to kind of make it better, I'm just going to pull this out. I'm going to put this over here, right? I'm, I'm just simplifying this. I'll move this a little bit out. I'll put this in here. Okay. And now I will just add these and add these. This goes bye-bye. I'll make a new line. And the only thing now here is just know that these are the same. So you add them together, right? I had one MnO4 2 minus plus two MnO4 2 minus. So how many total do I have? I have three MnO4 2 minuses. So I can get rid of this and it would be the same as just saying that I had three MnO4 2 minuses. Let's move this over here. And wham, bam, just like that, we now have the full-blown acid equation. And that's done. So we basically did the first part of balancing in a base. This is the acidic solution. Now we just have to do the couple of next steps just to get it into a base. So now for this part, we just need to add as many OH minuses as we have H pluses. And we got to be fair. We got to add them to both sides. So I'm scanning over here just to see where my H pluses are. And here they are. I have four of them. So if I have four H pluses, I need to add four OH minuses. But you gotta be fair. If you add the four OH minuses here, you gotta add the four OH minuses to the right side as well. And that part is done. Now all we gotta do is just simplify on the basis of one thing. Remember that H plus plus OH minus, when they come in contact with each other, they actually turn into water. And the ratio between these is a one to one to one. So if you had one H plus and one OH minus, you will make one water. If you had two OH minus, uh, two H pluses, you have two OH minuses, you'll get two H2Os. In our example, we have four H pluses mixed with four OH minuses. So how many waters will we make? Four. H2Os. So that's the whole thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase this, right? And I'm just going to say that this is equivalent or the same as four H2Os. And now we have to simplify those waters. I have a water on the right hand side. I got a water on the left hand side. This is the lower number. So all of this is going. There was two here, right? So subtract two. Four minus two there's two remaining waters left over on this side. So I'll say two H2O, and then I just get rid of this. Let's just pull this over. And this whole thing, or actually we'll say this whole thing, is your basic answer. And that is it. Guys, I hope this helped. Basic solutions are doozies, mainly because you got to get the acidic answer, and then you just do a couple more steps. But we got this, all right? So just go step by step. Make sure that, you know, you're, you're watching out because one little thing might slip the whole equation up, all right? So just be careful, and yeah, 
You guys rock. Have an awesome day. And if you want to subscribe, that will help the channel out. That will help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.